Jenny, we've been joined in the studio. I know you know this, but people listening don't. Uh, by <laughs> there is theater, people to my left. <laughs> theater royalty. Yes. It's um, let me get all the names right because Matt, your name's a difficult. I'll leave you to last. Uh, Lloyd Daniels, <laughs> Danielle Hope, and Matt Lipinskis. That's the one. Yay! Yeah. The stars of uh, Joseph and the Amazing. Is it his amazing technical dream coat? Do is we know? It yours? It's his amazing. We can or the it. amazing. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Ireland. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Absolute it's uh, pleasure. it's great to have you in. So tell tell us when the show show's coming August twelfth uh, yeah. to the board. Gosh, you guys haven't been to inside the theatre yet. No, it's, it's a big supposed one. Supposed to be amazing. It's, it's supposed to be like the, one of the top ones in Europe. So yeah. we're looking for it's the, it's the biggest one we're doing on tour. Yeah, yeah so and we're, we're here for two weeks. It's the only place on the tour that we're doing for two weeks. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. So two so weeks that big. Excited. Yeah. So really? tell, tell us, has it kicked off yet in the UK? Are you, are you on tour at the moment, no? No. We haven't started rehearsing, no. No. <laughs> so you know nothing about this show? Oh, we know about it. Yeah. yeah. We've done our research. But um, no, we, we start rehearsing um, this coming uh, Monday, week. Monday, is it? Yeah. This yeah. Monday in London. In London, We're going to have a little uh, three-way sort of uh, rehearsal and then the rest of the cast join us um, the week after that. So, okay. Uh, so who, who are you playing in the show? I'm playing Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Danielle, who are you? I'm playing the narrator. Okay. Yes. I'm playing Joseph. You're Joseph. Oh, look at him. Okay. There you go. Have you seen? Have any of you seen the show before? Like, yeah, I've gone to see it as kids or anything. We actually had a beer. Yeah, we had night. a beer last night in the hotel and watched it together. So it was quite. Um, we're like, oh, that's the show. So that's what we do. So <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, good. That's, it's yeah, kind of cool. You sign up for it and then go. Okay, we better watch <laughs> yeah, this yeah, now. Yeah, we better have to see what we're in for. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going to see it years ago before the O2 here when it was the point and Philip Schofield was Joseph. It's that long ago, but it's it's a great show actually. Oh, I amazing. reckon Matt. Or, sorry, uh, Lloyd, you went probably born no. when Philip Schofield was Joseph no I'm oh thanks <laughs> just, <laughs> just put it. how old are you Lovely. Lloyd I'm 21 21 mm, don't, old, don't what are you 31 30 what are you according to the paper the other day I'm 29 well, so let's go with that great. let's <laughs> go with that okay so uh, obviously you haven't started rehearsals yet so if you do you guys know each other very well or is this kind of you're only just Second, new friends this is our third day meeting each other yeah. Yeah. yeah I think by the end of today we've been in a lot of small rooms together haven't yeah, we yeah a lot of small taxis yes. but that's your own business <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, and tell me this so it, it, the show itself it, you know you're looking forward to it the rehearsal time is obviously it's short but intensive I would imagine I personally think it'd be brilliant because we've got a week together the three of us and then the boys come in to help us out so okay yeah. the rest of the cast join yeah yeah it'd be brilliant it's a really like family like packed show and like all the songs like even if you haven't seen it you, you would have heard them somewhere so like it, all the all the songs you'll be able to like you know sing along to and so it's, it's going to be a great show yeah it's great as well because I think it's really important with shows um, to make sure that whether you're like four or 94 mm. you can all come together as a family mm -hmm. um, and I think they're the best shows and especially because we're touring so it's coming to all the regions so people aren't having to travel all the way to London um, and I've never done a tour I think you have haven't you yeah right? I've done a yeah. tour yeah X Factor Lord, tour. yeah X Factor X Factor tour yeah. yeah how was that Amazing. What year were you in the X Factor? Oh nine, I think you actually was on it that year. Well, we performed on it that year, yeah, didn't we? So sure. you were mentored by Cheryl. Yes. So what was that like being mentored by Cheryl on the X Factor? She's coming back this year, obviously. She is. Yeah. Uh, she's gonna make an appearance. <laughs> um, yeah, it be. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Cheryl's phenomenal. So. Do you still keep in touch with her? Now and again. Okay. Not too much contact, but I know her PA Lily, so. Okay. It's quite nice. You were, it was a really big year that you were on it actually yeah. as well because that was the year that Joe McEldry won I think yeah. it's sort of I'm not saying it went downhill after that but that was really at the what peak what are you saying then Jenny? no but that's the real peak <laughs> to me when everybody was watching it it was yeah. like the year it was the equivalent of the year that Jade Goody was in Big Brother yeah. after that and me and Strictly it was that, well, yeah I, guess, I what understand what you're saying so it was there was so much hype around the show yeah. then and are you in touch with any of the other contestants still from that from that year yeah I talked to uh, Stacey Solomon Rachel Ledger AG I uh, keep in touch with uh, the girls from Miss Frank so yeah God, it's incredible here. Back on it now, it just reminds me. And are you all, the rest of you now, are you well established singers? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, both me. Really are you talking really to me? Really <laughs> been in musicals uh, in the West End um, for uh, about four years now so I think like musical theatre and acting and very established in, yeah. in theatre yeah. she's um, an amazing singer Oh, she's amazing Oh, look. See, it's only three days in. How how quickly will this wear off? Yeah. Well, I'm just. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Get her you, away from me. As you just touched on your, earlier, is this the honeymoon period where you're getting to know and like, oh, they, they, all these guys are cool? But is it really like a pop band where you have to pretend to like each other? Might be. Unlike well, Western. I, think we're quite lucky. I know. <laughs> I think we all just discovered that our favourite drink is Disserano. All three of us. Oh. And I think that's quite rare. So I think we're. What is it called? On. Disser it's Disserano. Amaretto. It's, it's like, like an amaretto. Oh, okay. Okay. So good. Looking so I think we're gonna get on. Have you tried any? 
sampled any Guinness uh, since you've been to Ireland? Not yet. I've yeah. never had one in my life, so I'm okay. waiting till we come back. I'm getting one on the plane back tonight. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't get on the plane. Don't get on the plane. Get no. it. Be- get it in the pub before oh, you get I'm on the plane. Just in case. <laughs> Matt, I have to ask you, Eastenders, are you yeah. coming back at any point? Or are you dead? No, I'm not dead. I was in it. I was on it for two years, and then um, I literally <laughs> went. Um, I lost all my. My character was a uh, gambling. Uh, he had a gamble problem, and uh, he gambled all his money away, and then he gambled his business away, and then he gambled like kind of his life away. So he had to run away from uh, the sort of square for a bit. But he's currently on a, a cruise ship, and his brothers just joined him out there. And um, yeah, we're just we're floating around in the Atlantic at the moment. Okay. So you never know. The, the ship might just sail back into Wolford. You never know. You it might, might f- sail into Dublin and go and see Joseph. Yeah, well, you might do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While you're on, uh, I have to ask you while you're on his standards did you ever get this moment that's it you know the doo doos at the end, yes, yes. At the again. end you yeah. look confused yes no I couldn't hear it because I haven't got the headphones on oh yeah oh, that'd be clever oh right. yes yes there yes, you go it. Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> looking at you, and he was like, "This guy is looking through me. He does know the theme tune to Standers, or have I just introduced him to this as well?" He's actually in Coronation Street. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, that did, that fell on its ass pretty much. <laughs> did, no, did, I tell you, say what? It's, it's one of those things like when you get the script, because um, you get like a big brown packet of scripts, and it's like a, like you get loads of episodes in it, and the first thing you do, like everybody does, is you flick to the end to see who's got the duff duff. Yeah. And oh, so you do in. find out? Yeah, you do find out. You go straight to the end of the thing, and you look for your character's name. If you if your character's like you know the last one. Down the line or the last things like that. Yes, get is it. that like yes. scoring in Old Trafford? Oh yeah, a bit like scoring about. Did you score at Old Trafford? Oh, yeah. uh, did you see my goal? <laughs> oh, I, did, I did see it. Should, should we talk about you it? Didn't see, you, you didn't see. You didn't see my. No, he did see it. Oh, he did <laughs> see it. He did. I know he saw. He's the first thing he said when he walked in the room. Uh, guys, we're going to take a quick break. Are you going to hang around for a few minutes? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we'll also have music from Ed Sheeran, Jenny. Lovely. <laughs> We still have Lloyd Daniels, Matt Lipinskis and Danielle Hope in studio because they are the stars of Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat which is coming to the Borgosh uh, Theatre on August 12th uh, till the 23rd. Now I've never seen the show, Jenny, you have. I've seen the show but I don't have the soundtrack and you have the soundtrack so we're kind of... there's a, We're quits, yeah. thanks for that. <laughs> we met somewhere in the thanks middle there. Thanks for that, yeah. That's because I have young children. Who, uh, who like it and enjoy the show who yeah. went, who went to their mommy <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. that's my excuse I and I'm you. sticking to it uh, well, Colum, <laughs> Colum Hayes walked by and he said his daughter was part of Stagecoach which is the local choir that are appearing on stage that's with great. you guys yeah, yeah. It's good because we're going around to uh, lots of different venues and um, it's a chance for the stage coaches and the, the children that are in theatre around those to come and experience you know, live, live theatre and get on stage and uh, perform and it really gives them the buzz for it which is great. Cause, it know. must be nerve wracking I have to say. I mean we get nervous doing things and I just think when you're up there on a live stage it must. I'm not trying to put you off. <laughs> it must be terrifying, it, it, it is, is it? It's strange. I mean, I'm I'm coming straight out of um, sort of like acting like on screen and then uh, yeah. and then dancing on ice on screen. So that's literally like it's very different for me. Very yeah. different for me. It's a totally different like. There's the no take time. two when it's live. Yeah, it's the first time <laughs> I have performed to like a big live audience in like a good like solid year. So it's mm. gonna be it's gonna be you know. Is musical story. something that you you always wanted to to get yeah, out? So it's, it's, as an actor, I always want to like sort of test myself and um, push myself to the limit hence why I did um, Dance So Nice because it was a whole different thing and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to it and it's great working with you know amazing singers that can teach me because I love learning off people as well so these two have got amazing voices so hopefully I'll be able to sing at the end of the show <laughs> <laughs> and Danielle as a kid you've obviously you know you won the BBC show wasn't it the uh, Over the Rainbow Over the Rainbow yeah. and so was, was theatre always something then for you you wanted to do oh god no I was hideously shy until really? like the oh, age wow. of 11 and um, just kind of couldn't really do anything else apart and I always love music like, I've grown up with music my mum's car and all that mm. um, but I didn't go to like stage schools or anything I just kind of found it at high school and was like okay this is something I seem to be okay at let's just go with it and then I couldn't imagine doing that's anything amazing else now. but it's, I think it's really cool that all three of us are from completely different backgrounds yeah. yeah and we've got something really individual to bring to it and I think the creative process is gonna be really awesome and you're you're the narrator on the show yes so okay. I'm gonna tell all the story I've she's got never all off stage. The she's on stage the no, whole time. I, I don't leave it's like the children on the quiet I just don't leave I'm always there lurking somewhere yeah. <laughs> um, so we've uh, one of our presenters Rick O'Shea uh, he played the narrator in Joseph School play around 1990 somebody said and uh, he was brilliant he's Jenny, upstairs he's now text. probably going <gasps> well done Rick if anyone down. has a photo of that though please send it <laughs> yeah. in we'd love to see that <laughs> and I have down we can, uh, he can help me with the colours and the names of the brothers <laughs> oh, so many and have you seen the coat yet Lloyd I've tried it on oh yeah. Are, do you get to keep it afterwards now well I'm going to take it regardless <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he's going to steal it. 
Don't tell him that. Not, oh, I didn't say that. Actually. You can't see it. It's, it's actually a little fact. The uh, the first um, is a train. Train. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do it as a train. Actually, the underground goes underneath this building. Oh, nice. <laughs> the, the first cut that they ever made for the first show it was twenty kilo, uh, twenty kilograms heavy and uh, wa- was worth ten grand. And spread twenty five meters. That's it. Yeah. And was worth ten grand the first one. I don't know where it is now. I'd say Phil Schofield oh, has oh, that. Yeah, definitely. Well, or Jason Donovan. One of them yeah. is at Well and Truly. I'd, I'd say Jason Donovan's got it. <laughs> Yeah, There's going to be some heat on stage that night in the coast yeah. anyway. Yeah, it's big. It's Make big. sure you have a bit of Febreze, won't you? Yeah. Just to spray it down Sorry, afterwards. Sorry, my weather's like Cut this. up my wires. Excuse Are you all right there, love? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's like something tied me up. <laughs> anyway, so it's all happening August 12th to 23rd at the Borgosh Energy Theatre, so people can uh, go online and get their tickets in advance. It's going to be a great show. Uh, I think we'll have to get out and have a look. We will, absolutely. We're looking forward to it. Guys, thank thanks a million for coming in. <laughs> thank you. Uh, nice. And enjoy Ireland. Where's next? You're heading off, so don't mention another radio station if you're going there. We're going to the theatre <laughs> for the first time. Oh, yeah. really? You're going to get to see it. Have a look. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be nice. Looking You'll looking probably be it. frightened to death after you see <laughs> the size of it. All right, guys, thank you very much, <laughs> Matt, you. Danielle, and Lloyd. It's been, it's been a pleasure.